Hello beautiful people. In this request video I'm taking off the British Avenger, setting a battle rating 4.7. Hope you enjoy. This is a request from Gary and he wrote, Try playing Avenger. Had to suffer recently as rank 3 Britain for the two eras of Centurion season challenge. And what the hell is up with this Gary? I thought we liked each other, but this is the second vehicle at battle rating 4.7 that you want me to play, and this battle rating is goddamn awful. But the subs are always right, so here we go. In order to minimize some of the redundancy in what I say, I'm going to do the pros and cons first. Some of the pros. Great gun. The 17 pounder works amazingly, and even whenever you're in full up tier, you don't have issues penetrating the majority of what you're gonna face. Fast. So the Avenger with the Comet Engine can get up to a speed of 52 km an hour, and that is pretty nice. That also means you can actually go capture some bases and then earn some quick points like that. And with a nice speed, you can get into a good position faster, also when we're talking about flanking. And the 17 pounder has access to smoke shells. Some of the cons. Horrible reverse. In my opinion, I would just pretend that you don't even have that gear, because it's only like 2 or 3 kilometers an hour in full reverse, and that is so goddamn useless. Instead, just bring the hull around and get out of there. It's much, much faster than trying to do a lengthy reverse. No coaxial machine gun. Not having access to any machine gun at all is actually super annoying, especially if you want to mark somebody or range something, and running into an SBAA or any vehicle with the crew out can get you into trouble. Spawning is not always super consistent, and since the 17 pounder does not have access to any AP run with high explosive filler, eh, it's not the greatest. And the only thing you should do and can do is bring a number of high explosive shells with you, just in case you're going to meet some SPAAs. Semi open top. You have a very thin armor plate protecting the top of the turret and then you have some vision slits all around. So you're still a little more protected compared to an Achilles or an M10 but not by much. And thanks to the new overpressure mechanic you are now much more vulnerable to anything with a decent amount of HE filler in it. So the first thing I will say is that I absolutely hate the battle rating of 4.7. I would say 80% of all my matches with this vehicle and basically all matches that are 4.7, I end up in up tiers either 5.3 or 5.7. Luckily the gun can keep up, the rest of the vehicle as in the armor protection, eh, not too much, as in not at all. But of course the fault does not lie with the vehicle or the battle rating itself, but instead it's a problem of the whole matchmaking system. So come on Gardein, there's work to be done. Ah, uh, I'm so funny. A quick look at the stat sheet. Turret rotation 11.7, and that is with the gunner up to 5 in the crew without throwing any civil lines after it. Vertical guidance minus 10, that's really nice, plus 17. Not so great, but it's not really that needed. Reload rate with the loader again up to 5, 6.5, that is pretty nice because it's a pretty large shell. And there's something odd going on here. On the stat sheet. Try look at the hull armor and then the side here it says 46 millimeters. But try look at this. Armor says 40 millimeters. So I don't know which one it is. I hope it's not 40 millimeters. Because that would mean that any heavy machine gun can pin it. And something else that's weird is the description of the vehicle. It says self-propelled 17 pounder A30. Right. And then it says a medium tank. But I would argue that this is not a medium tank at all. It's a tank destroyer. Why would it say medium tank? If that's a medium tank, it's the worst medium tank ever. So playing this as a medium tank, as the statue says, is suicide. Play it as a tank destroyer. Your armor can definitely not hold up. Combined with that god awful reverse, you will put yourself into a lot of trouble. So on an urban map, either rush in to get the cab and then get out of there, and or find a nice safe spot where you can snipe somebody. If you can, you should definitely avoid brawling with this one. Unfortunately, a lot of the maps in War Thunder are kind of urban type. In that case, just stick behind your bodies and, well, hope for the best. Okay, welcome to sunny Korea. On the 38th parallel. Uh... Uh... 
How far away is that? Oh. Uh. Oh. Well, that's fine. Somebody got him. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, he didn't see me. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, come on. Turn. Yeah, come on. You can do it. There we go. More coming. And engine off. Let's see if he wanders in front of me. Somewhere over there. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. Uh, there's more coming. That's from the other side. Turn off the engine again. Did I just see something? Is that a rock? No, no, no. Yeah, okay, so there's a lot of movement over there. Oh. Thank you. There's more coming. Ah. Oh, 
Come on. Okay, I want that one. Oh. Want that one. Come on, pivot, 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 pivot. <sighs> that was unfortunate. I should have waited. I shouldn't have waited, rather. Well, it was pretty fun. Okay, oh, the 30th parallel and some AAA going ham over there. So, what? Uh, let me just try some long range attacks and couldn't it be fun? Well, and that was two. So it was on A. Ah, uh, okay, see him. So I had not been very good, uh, been very lucky with using bombs on this guy. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm screwed. Well, at least I made him overshoot. So maybe I can. Oh no, he's gone. Oh, that, that, that sucked. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I don't want to treat him. Oh, that sucked. Okay. That was fun, though. Wait. <laughs> I still got the credit. I got the credit for a bomber. Yeah. That was hilarious. Oh no, so look how close it is. What if I uh, make it a little lighter maybe? What if I only take the rockets with me? Oh no, it's still not enough. Come on. Yes, I'm trying to care, but just need to get over there. Give me five minutes. Nobody hiding over there somewhere. Okay, okay. Well, my right flank, sorry, left flank should be okay. I think you hear something. Oh, yep, 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 yep. We're over there somewhere. Oh, there we go. I mean, uh, oh, he lost. Oh, is that a uh, crazy dude? Oh, okay. Yeah, that guy needs to hit first. What the hell is going on with the sound right now? Perfect. Yeah, well, you gun us out. There we go. Because that dude is so dangerous. Well, let's 
move up then. Or out or something. Even I can defend um, whatever needs defending. Pretty sure I can hear something else. Attention to the map. Uh, well, they're getting alpha. Oh, nice. That was fun. Oh my god, first kill. Got rid of a little nasty uh, thing of up, and he's pretty far away, so. Not far away, rather. I couldn't really. Oh. Uh oh, oh, yep, 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 just turn the corner. Thank you. Did he see me or no? Oh. My bad. Uh oh. Oh. Come on! No, oh, reach us out. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's make a run for it. Should be coming out over here, right? Well, that's our KV guy. Ah, there we go. Ah, yeah, great way to. Great place to be standing. Not. I'm tempted to throw smoke, but... Oh! Oh, that got a... Whoa, really been bad. Hey! Moving out. Yeah, that guy dead. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Did he get him? Oh, <laughs> oh artillery got him. Oh, dude, that must be. That's rough. Yay, I made it to Bravo. Just get, get just to be uh, be killed by my buddy uh, SPAG. That was funny. So I can hear something more. We're losing Alpha. Thank you. Oh, that was awesome. Dude, that was awesome. Thank you for that pushing. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Good job, Game of Bandit, with the pushing. Oh. Is that a patio from over there? I have to say yes. Nice, 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 nice. Very confusing, but very entertaining. I guess it was that guy over there, the the Panzer three that got Alpha. Hmm. Just say. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, that was fun. So, that was it for this little video. I really like the Avenger, but rather, I really like the 17 pounder because it works in an up tier which you sadly often find yourself in. And I know it probably doesn't matter it says medium tank, but maybe if people saw it and it's a tank destroyer, people would not be so aggressive with it because it can definitely not be played in that role. I have added some links in the video description below, both for other relevant videos on the channel, but also for more direct ways for you guys to support the channel if you wish to do so. Besides that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching and until next time, remember to deploy your die breaks. Have a good one.